Hey everyone, this is the first video in a series of videos that will go through how to code a program, a GUI, to uh, display the NACA four-digit airfoil. If you haven't already, take a look at my other two videos that I'll post in the description uh, going through the equations of the airfoil and then my actual just uh, a simple script uh, in MATLAB. And this will be this will be taking all that and putting it together into a, into a GUI. So in this first video, I'm just going to go through the layout of the GUI. Uh, with no actual coding, and then in the next uh, few videos I'll code up all the extra stuff. So first we're going to start off by opening up a uh, GUI using guide. This is the easiest way to do it for now. And I'm just going to increase this size a little bit. I'm going to start with a static text box up here, which will just set our title. So if I go down here to the string, I'm going to call it NACA 4 digit airfoil. And I'll just call this text title. It doesn't matter because we won't be altering it at all. Uh, another thing I want to do is just change the font size probably up to something a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, 30 works. Okay. Uh, the next few things I'm going to do are going to put some edit text box in here. So the first one I want to do is uh, set a couple of static texts here. I'm going to copy this, copy paste a few of these down. I need one for the airfoil, angle of attack, grid points. I don't actually, actually I need that for some uh, pop-up menus as well. I need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the first couple that I need to do are the edit text. So this first one is going to be for the airfoil. This is gonna be for the angle of attack. I just copied the static text over. Let me copy this. Okay, this is going to be for the number of grid points that we wanna use. And now we want three pop-up menus. So I'm going to take a pop-up menu here, copy that, here, and here. Okay, the next thing we want to put in is a radio button to show the camber line. I want a push button to actually plot the airfoil. I want another static text as a status uh, text box. And I want another push button down here as my exit button. I'm going to have a, an axis to display the actual airfoil here. And then I need a couple more for saving the actual airfoil coordinates. I'm going to put uh, a couple more static texts here. One, two, and then I'm going to have an edit text box. I'm going to copy that edit text box here for the file name and then a pop-up menu here for the save style, which I'll go over. Uh, in a second, or in one of the other videos when I actually code it up. And then I also actually want a button here for uh, pressing so that you can save the airfoil data. So up here, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go to uh, the string. And this string here is just going to be airfoil. And I'm just going to, uh, oops, mm, hold on a second. Here we go, and we'll go text airfoil. Okay, and then here for this one, we want this one to be angle of attack in degrees. I'm just gonna say this is text AOA. This static text is going to be grid points. So we're gonna go grid points here, make this tag grid points. This static text, go down to the string. This static text, I want it to be the grid type. And again here, we'll go grid type. And for this one, we want it to be trailing edge, whether we want it to be open or closed. Let's call this text TE. And then this one here, we want it to be plot as. And this will change whether you plot it as a line or as circles or as dots. This one here, the tag, or sorry, the string will be show camber line and then we'll change this to radio show camber line this push button will be for plotting the airfoil so we'll do plot airfoil again down here push plot airfoil and this static text uh, will say initially this is going to say ready to plot and this will be able to be changed uh, 
in the actual code that you'll you'll see. Uh, actually, this will be text status. It'll it'll be changed based on if you if their user puts in an input that is not valid, it'll change to uh, a message indicating that it's not valid. Okay, so those are those ones. Uh, now here we want this one to be uh, save file name. So the file name that you're using to save the text out. I'll call that save file name. And then here this one is going to be save style. And this is for whether you want to save it from, save the data points from the leading edge to the trailing edge or the trailing edge to the leading edge. And again, you'll see that later on. The original or the initial, um, the initial save file name I'm gonna put here is the default is going to be naca.txt. Edit, and this will be called save file name. And then uh, here, this is going to be uh, pop save style. And in here we need to open this up because we have two options. So the first one is leading edge to trailing edge, press enter. Second is trailing edge to leading edge, press okay. So those are those two options. Okay, uh, one other thing here is that we want to go down to the tag for the axes and I'm gonna call it plot airfoil. That's all I need to do with the axes. And then here we need to set some defaults. So the default that I want for my airfoil is just a 0012. And then I want to call that airfoil. I'll move this over here. The default angle of attack that I want is zero. So I'll set that to zero. And again, set this to edit AOA. The default grid points I'll set is 100. It gives a pretty good airfoil. Edit grid points. The grid type we can use either uniform or non-uniform. So I'm gonna put that in here and I'll explain that in a different video. Uniform and non-uniform. Press okay. And this pop-up will be grid type. The trailing edge, I'm going to have the default be open. Uh, and actually I need to open this up. So the default is open and then there's also closed. And the tag will be uh, pop trailing edge like that and then the last one here is going to be whether you want to plot it as a line which is the default circles or dots and then we'll go pop uh, plot as and I believe that these are all all these tags are set down here you can see the tags are all set uh, this push button I need to make it an exit button and then we'll call it push exit. And then now we can save this, control S, save it, and I'm in my folder here, and I'm gonna call it GUI NACA four digit airfoil save. And of course you can't use the hyphen, so GUI NACA four digit airfoil, enter, okay. And now we have this file with all this crazy stuff in here. Again, this contains some useful information, but right now I don't really care. Um, so I'm gonna delete all this extra stuff in here. Okay. So just bear with me here, this takes a while. Okay. And this is just all of the create functions and the callbacks that it automatically generates when it when you save the file and I wait to save the file until I have everything set up just because then it gives you this uh, it gives you everything at the same time you could also save it along the way and you'll just keep getting these little snippets added to your code and it's no big deal so you can do either way whatever you want I just like to have everything uh, set up in my file and I'll make it prettier uh, later on but right now that's not really a big deal and then as in my other GUIs I like to add in uh, let me just copy these over from my other file. I like to add in my initialization and then my callback section so that it's easier to see where you are in the code here. So so all of these create functions we're going to put in the initialization and not worry about them. So I'm actually going to start from the bottom here. Okay, I'm just using control X. Uh, let's see, there's another one. There's another one. Okay. 
There's quite a few of these. This and a couple more. And then we'll just copy all these or cut them and bring them to the top here. And then we can forget about them. And now you have all these uh, callbacks here. And these are what we're going to code. Uh, let me save that. These are what we're going to code in the next few videos. So you can see that we have our edit uh, text boxes, so our edit airfoil, angle attack, grid points, our pop-up menus here, our radio button, our push button for the plotting, our push button for the exit button, another edit text box, another pop-up menu, and then another push button that I did not uh, label. And this one I'm going to change to save uh, airfoil. Let me see what I called it in my other one. So say I called it save data. So I'll call it save data, and then we'll go to push save data, enter. And then when I save it here, you can see it comes back here and it changed it to push save data. So now that we have everything set up, we're ready to start coding this. So that'll be in the next video, and thanks for watching.